so here he's so here we go you're hillary clinton and you're trying to think how do i run so what do you do you go aha the condom police <laughs> i'm gonna make up a completely made up threat and try to scare a bunch of folks that are not paying a lot of attention into thinking someone's going to steal their birth control what nonsense Okay, well, Hillary Clinton responded to that. Him saying it's nonsense that someone is trying to take away your birth control. First of all, you're saying that in a room full of people who want to take away your fucking birth control. They really want to. And so does him. So does he, Ted Cruz. Really want, they really want to take away your fucking birth control. And they're all like, they think we want to take away their birth. That's like saying, and that, that's like you're giving a speech in front of a KKK. And the blacks think we want to hurt them. Oh, it couldn't be more obvious that these guys want to take away your right birth control. So here's what Hillary Clinton put out, by the way. So she know, she mentioned, she did a post on her website that noted five times Ted Cruz had supported eliminating birth control for women. The first time he supported a so-called personhood amendment, which could criminalize abortion and could ban some forms of birth control. He did support that. What is the personhood amendment? That means that when an egg is fertilized, it's a person. Immediately, it's a person. It has all the rights of a person. Am I correct about that? That's yeah. what that's what the personhood. Yeah. So they so then if you abort that, now you're a murderer. So see how they get around letting women take control of their bodies they no longer now that that uh fertilized egg inside them is now has more rights than they do that's the personhood amendment and so they would make then uh abortion illegal there's there's one time ted ted that's not made up number two hillary clinton said the time he was willing to shut down the government to cut funding for planned parenthood definitely you trying to Keep women from birth control. Wouldn't you say that's definitely okay? So that's two for sure. Number three, the time he called for the Supreme Court to turn women's health decisions over to their employees by striking down the Obamacare birth control co-pay provision in the Hobby Lobby ruling. He did that. He did support that. That does make women, it does have women give away their ability to decide for themselves it gives the about birth control. It gives it to their employer. That's very cut and dry. He wants to take that decision away from the employee, the woman, and give it to their employer. That's that's. Am I wrong about this? That's Again. not so bad if you've got a cool boss. If you got it, yeah, yeah. So maybe you still have a cool boss. Yeah, maybe your boss will let you get away with it. Maybe your boss to <laughs> get away with it. <laughs> maybe your boss will let a woman get away with making her own reproductive decisions. Maybe. Uh, number four. The time he tried to get rid of a law that made it so women couldn't be fired for their personal reproductive decisions, including birth control. So let's go to that. What is that? That sounds interesting. Let's look what that is. So the Washington, D.C. law in question, the Re Reproductive Health Non-Discrimination Amendment Act of 2014. That's a long thing to say. It says employers cannot use their personal beliefs to discriminate against an employee for his or her reproductive health choices. Meaning if a woman decides to use their insurance provided by their company to get health care, meaning reproductive health care, meaning contraception, this law would say that your employee cannot now punish you for that or do anything because of that. Cruz took issue with that law in his capacity as a member of Congress, which is allowed a 30-day period to object to D.C. laws. The potential to be fired or demoted from a job for using contraception is a heavy penalty. So that's what they could fire you for. It. The D.C. law that was proposed would not allow that. Ted Cruz was on the wrong side of that one. Okay? So now, and the fifth one was... The time he used a medically and scientifically incorrect argument to try to ban emergency contraception. So that goes back to that um, abort efficients. Uh, there was a law saying that you couldn't use abort efficients that would abort a pregnancy. What this was really was they were trying to get emergency contraception. Uh, he was trying to ban emergency contraception, which is different than an abort efficient. 
So there's certain pills that cause an abortion. There's certain after the fact uh, contraception that can prevent a fertilization after intercourse. So that's what they were talking about. Ted Cruz called it an abort official. That's it's very technical, but he did it. And let's just there it is. It's been done. Politic politifact. Now this is why politifact. Uh, Rachel Maddow has shown how. They bend over backwards to see the wrong side of the point of view often. So here, PolitiFact uh, took Hillary Clinton to task on this, of her actually stating the facts when Ted Cruz tried to keep reproductive health services, contraception from women in general. So PolitiFact breaks down each one of those, and they point out why they don't 100% agree with what Hillary was saying in each one of those five points. But they do mostly agree with them, it seems like. But they have these weird ways to, they find ways to disagree with what Hillary Clinton said. And I'm just going to show you one of them. I'm just going to show you one way where they quibbled with her to show you how ridiculous most of their disagreements with her were. Uh, so remember the number four I just showed you? The potential to be fired or demoted from a job for using contraception is a heavy penalty. This is PolitiFact talking. Still, opposing this bill is not the same thing as advocating for a ban on contraception. So Hillary Clinton points out that Ted Cruz has been for banning certain contraception in five different ways. PolitiFact says she's not, that's not true. And they use that. They tried to write a law that said you couldn't fire a woman for using contraception. Ted Cruz opposed that law, saying you could fire a woman for using contraception. Hillary Clinton points it out. PolitiFact says that's not the same thing of him wanting to ban contraception. Talk about splitting fucking hairs. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. And how do they... So here's... Setting aside... This difference of opinion, it's not clear that this example supports Clinton's overall point that Cruz has sought to ban contraception. By focusing on emergency contraception, it addresses Cruz's position on one type of contraception, but not all types. So Hillary points out that he's for banning this specific type of contraception. PolitiFact says, yeah, but that doesn't mean he's against all types of contraception. So it's not. So what do they say? Mostly false. I don't know if you can see. Mostly false. Her claim Ted Cruz tried to ban contraception five times. Mostly false. I just pointed out to you the five times he did. I just pointed out their bullshit hair splitting reason right there. He didn't try to ban all types. So maybe this is one type. So that just, just be, uh, Rachel Maddow has pointed out that just because you put fact in your name doesn't mean it's accurate. PolitiFact. This is a fail on PolitiFact's point, for sure. Are you kidding me? Ted Cruz doesn't want to ban... And those five examples don't solidify that he wants to ban contraception? That's a PolitiFact fail. And uh, we... Only a knucklehead. <laughs> only someone who's not like, uh, I don't know, watched the TV in the last t five or ten years or doesn't live in this country doesn't know that Ted Cruz... Wants to ban contraception. Wants to certainly limit women's access to contraception. Uh, mostly false. Hillary's mostly false. Mostly false. 